if I had followed you around the last 24 hours, the last 48 hours, the last five days, maybe the last seven days, if I had followed you around for the last 21 days, 30 days, what would I have discovered? What would I have seen you doing? What would have been your habits? What would have been your daily rituals? What would your time management look like, your to-do list? What would you have been doing the last day, the last two days, the last seven days, the last two weeks, the last month? If I had followed you around, what would I have discovered? Michael McLean, badassbrotherhood.com, just out on another beautiful June morning walk. The days are getting better and better here. Cliffy and I are out at 5.59 every morning after prayer and lemon water. And uh, 15,000 steps is my new goal. I have it written on my left forearm. And this is day eight, consecutive day eight, where I've added 10 minutes to my walk. So instead of 55, 60 minutes, I'm at 70 minutes walking down, uh, down by the water. I walk to the point and back, but I've had to add 10 minutes. So I've done that and I'm up to 15,000 steps. And then with my steps the rest of the day, uh, I'm well, well over 15, 16, 17,000 steps a day, which is my goal. And uh, it's my outcome goal is to increase my energy and to drop a few pounds. So I haven't really looked much at that. I've just stuck to the process. The process is 15,000 steps. The process is a gallon of water a day, which happens every day. The process is eating clean 85% of the time, which I do. So the process is working. I feel lighter. I feel even more energetic. Mental health, I feel even like clear. I felt a little bit of a mental fog when we returned from Naples. And the last two weeks, uh, since I started walking more, longer, add, got up to the 15,000 steps, uh, I'm feeling that mental fog clearing over the last eight glorious days. So very happy with the process, very happy with um, the outcomes that I'm getting, which are beyond my control. I don't worry about outcome goals, I worry about the process. And uh, so today I want to talk about behavior because the great Napoleon Hill wrote one of the top three business books of all time, Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read it, you need to buy it, the real book, you need to read it every year. It's one of those top 10 books on your bookshelf that you need to read. Come on, Pilafi, I'm gonna release you, buddy. You're free. Like us going to Naples four months ago, you're free. So to make a short story long, I, uh, I, uh, just may get this, this leash. So, um, we, uh, just really important, uh, that you get that book and you read it, but reread it every year, Think and Grow Rich. But Napoleon Hill, I would add one word to that. I don't agree completely with his title. It's think and behave and grow rich. Thinking is important, mindset is critical, behavior is just as critical. If you don't have any execution and action behind your thinking, you're not gonna accomplish much. So for me, it's thinking and behaving and growing rich. Everything I've accomplished in my life has been through execution. Great idea, but if it dies on the vine with no execution, no action, it doesn't happen, right? If I don't put these 15,000 steps in today, you know, my thinking that I want to improve my energy, that I, you know, want to have a clearer mind, all that stuff, doesn't matter. It's just a thought. So thinking and behavior matter. So if I had followed you over the last day, two weeks, month, what would I have seen? Okay, if you had hired me and said, Michael, come and, you know, follow me around for 24 hours, 
my day, my rituals, my habits, my lifestyle, what would I have seen? Would I have seen a badass, you know, CEO, father, husband, you know, uncle, leader, marketer, or would I have seen life as a warning? Would I have seen a life that's an example to others? Or would I have seen a life that is a warning? Warning or example? Would I have seen a, a man who gets up at the exact same time every single day, seven days a week, 21 days, 30 days, every single day, up before the rest of the world, which is best? Would I have seen a man that goes to, the, goes to bed, having the discipline to going to bed at the same time every single day? For me, it's 10 p.m. sharp, up at one minute to six. I need eight hours, rest is a weapon. Those are my eight hours, I have the discipline. If Chris and I are out late past then, very simple. Still get up at six, 5.59, and I'll have a nap later that day in the afternoon. So I don't break my red chain. I don't change my winning formula and recipe. Would I have seen a man that fills his gallon water jug? Do you even have a jug? You know, you can buy those things for pennies on uh, online. Do, you, uh, do I see a man who, before he heads to bed at the same time, fill up his water jug, his gallon water jug, and uh, set it on the kitchen counter with uh, his lemon and his lemon squeezer and a, a big cup to put his water in. Well, am I gonna see a person who's, you know, when he goes to bed, he sets out his shorts, his t-shirt, his ball cap, his shoes, his walking shoes, his exercise shoes, his training shoes are at the front door. Am I seeing this? Am I seeing, you know, a guy who's stumbling around in the dark looking for things. Or is it get up and execute, execute, prayer and then execute. You know, you grab your t-shirt, your shorts, your ball cap, you're gone. Your wife is still asleep. Krista doesn't even hear me. I'm like a fucking panther. I just get up and I splash some water in my face. I brush my teeth. I go, for a, I go to the bathroom. I throw on my t-shirt, my shorts. Boom, I'm out like a panther, badass panther. And uh, then uh, I go downstairs and I can't fail. I can't misbehave. There's a lemon waiting for me. My jug of water is already filled up the night before. I don't want to be using my willpower on that stuff at, at 6.15 in the morning. I want that stuff already done the night before. I'm winning. Little wins. Boom, 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 boom. I'm feeling better. I woke up and I'm like in a fog and already I'm feeling better. I'm already feeling better about Michael McLean. Little wins and I'm gaining momentum. I don't want to get up at six. I don't want to go for a walk. I don't want to drink a gallon of water, but little victories, now I do. Now I do. Tiny, tiny incremental victories every day. Um, do I see a person who, uh, you know, is, is listening to their personal creator, listening to your golden gut, listening to your intuition, depending upon what you believe? Uh, whether you're a spiritual or religious person or not, are you listening to your golden gut? Are you being quiet? Do I discover a person who has their cell phone in their bedroom? Do you get up and lose control of your day in the first 10 minutes? That's what 99%, they lose control of their day. They play defense. They play not to, not to lose. And they get up and they check their email. They check their texting. They jump in the shower. They play, they play defense and your day is gone in the first 10 minutes. You're, you're screwed, you're absolutely screwed. Or, or is your bedroom technology free? No pads, no TVs. Uh, when we rented that place in Naples, I pulled that fucking TV off the wall. Uh, there was a TV in ed every bedroom, all right? That's the American and Canadian way. I took that screen down off the wall. And I remember four months later, I put it back for Goofy. And uh, no technology in our bedroom. My wife and I, we sleep. We do our gratitude. We talk about our, our issues. We talk about our day. And uh, when I wake up, there's none of those distractions or, or uh, triggers for me. Would I discover somebody that's 
you know, sitting down and, and working on the marketing of your company for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes every day, setting a timer and, and doing things that'll bring you future money or present money? Are you, are you, are you marketing? Are you, are you effectively executing your number one priority as a businessman, which is your marketing? Are you copywriting, writing emails, writing copy, working on your newsletter, newsletter, working on your sales letter? What are you doing? What am I seeing? Do I see a person who lives in a home and business and vehicle with all kinds of books, real books? Your next greatest discovery is found in a book. It's not found in your email. It's not found in your text. It's not found on anti-social media. It's not found in a TV show or the fake news. It's not found in any of those arenas. Your next great discovery that takes your life and your business to a extraordinary level is found in the great books. So do I, do I see a person who's reading great books? Do you have magazines? Do you have books? Do you have newsletters in your car, in your truck? If you have to, if you have your the dentist, wherever you are, are you reading? Leaders are readers. Or are you just on your phone all day, every day? Like, what am I discovering? Uh, what do I see in terms of when you're turning your phone on? Do I see somebody who's in complete control? Do I see a power player, a person who uh, is, uh, you know, they, they're not checking their email. They're not checking their phone to 11 a.m. They're playing offense to 11 a.m., 12 p.m. Uh, or do I see somebody who's just running around uh, reacting, playing defense? Um, what about, uh, do I, would I discover somebody who's written a date night with your spouse, with your secret weapon? Does that happen every Wednesday or does that happen every Thursday? Or does it just get talked about and doesn't happen? Does your, does your wife roll her eyes? when uh, you say, oh, you're gonna go out for dinner. It's the same time every single week. What about your son and daughter? Do they roll their eyes when you say, you know, we should go spend some time together or, or do this or do that? And do they just laugh and say, oh, well, that'll pass. Dad, dad won't, go, won't do that. Or do, they, uh, or do they know that you're a man of your word? And they know that, you know, if you promise to, to take them to a movie or take them to a ball game or take them to a, a you know, golfing or mini putt or go out to the driving range or go fishing or just go for a drive or take them with you to work so they can stuff envelopes, whatever it is, uh, does that stuff, would I see that happening or is it all just bullshit? Um, your nightly routine, like, are you, would I see a man walking into his house at 6 p.m. every night, dinner at 6 p.m., no exceptions. Uh, and what do I see at the table? Do I see technology? Do I see teenagers checked out? Do I see you checked out, your wife checked out? Or do I see a family that's present every night? Dinners at 6 p.m. every single night, where everybody talks about what's going on in their life, you're connected. Um, you understand what's going on in your family's life. Uh, so, you know, and is the cell phone, when you walk through the door, is the cell phone put in a box or a safe and shut off till the kids are at least in bed, at least. Um, or is it just balls to the wall business all the time where you're just running, you're reacting, you're playing not to lose. Um, do you own your morning? Do you win every morning? Do you get up and work on the most important thing, your mission every morning? Or does that get pushed to the background because of tax and employee issues and your brother-in-law and all this other stuff that doesn't matter? So if I'd followed you around yesterday, uh, this week, this month, this uh, quarter, what would I have seen? And if it's not what I should be seeing, what can you do to make these corrections. What rules can you put in your life? What uh, do not do rules can you put in your life? What goals can you set? Nothing is more powerful than rules. Goals aren't, you know, even values, even visions. They're not as powerful as rules. So what about putting simple two or three little rules in your life to start? Okay, I don't check my phone for the first two hours of every morning. That could be a rule. Another rule could be, the, I, I walk for half an hour every morning, first thing, no exceptions. For 30 minutes, I walk every morning, no exceptions. Invite your wife, invite your kids, but you do it no matter what. Simple rule, 
I drink a gallon of water every day. That's a piece of cake. That's done by three o'clock, four o'clock. Water is so great for your mind. It's great for your mental health. It's great for losing weight. Uh, that's an easy one. Um, do I do I read 30 minutes a day? I now read, talk as if, right? You set rules as if. I read 30 minutes every morning first thing. I write 30 minutes first thing every morning. Uh, I have a date night every week, every Wednesday night. It's a rule, talk as if, as if it's already happening. Uh, and these are the things you do. I take 10,000 steps per morning. Uh, I pray for five minutes every morning, as if. And that's how you'll start changing your world. That's how you'll start building the world of your dreams is by the personal rules and boundaries that you set in your life. And if you can win the first hour, by the way, the first hour of the day belongs to you. If you don't have the first hour of the day under control, get your ass to bed earlier and get up an hour earlier before everybody in this house. Like I'm out here by myself. Emery's doing her thing. Chris is getting up. But I've had the first hour of the day to me. If you, er, if you own that first hour of the day, which belongs to you, your life is going to immediately change. And, what, and you use that first hour for whatever you want. But it's none of this BS uh, technology or watching the news. It's walking or writing or reading, whatever you want, prayer. But you use that first hour. You own that first hour. So with that said, and then you work towards owning the second hour eventually, but start with that first hour. That's it. These are the things that I teach guys. I, my kings, my warriors, my cleaners, my badass fathers, husbands, in my five-star mastermind. It's a brand new opportunity. It's not a, a mastermind like anybody else has. It's 12 months, it starts in September. It's bloody expensive on purpose, 50 grand. If you're interested in applying and being put on a waiting list, go to badasschampion.com. That's the link is below. And leave your name and email, that's it. There isn't even a questionnaire. If you wanna raise your hand and get on with the phone with me later this summer, there's only 18 elite spots for businessmen. It's for men only. Uh, you've got to be, uh, you got to be, uh, you know, into hard coaching, into accountability. Uh, you need to be looking to take your business and your life from ordinary to extraordinary and hanging out. You're leveling up your association like it's insane. You're hanging out with some of the best of the best. So if that's your cup of whiskey, go to badasschampion.com. And if you haven't got a copy of my book, time to get off the uh, sidelines and start playing to win. And you can do that at noblebook.com. That's noblebook.com. Remember to hug your wife and your children every single day before the sun sets, before you close your eyes. Tell the most important people in your life that you love them and you appreciate them. And uh, nothing is more important than family. Make sure that happens every single day. That's it. Two words that change my life. Two words that can change your life. Be relentless.